Hi, I'm Jake. Welcome back to OTK Extra Good Things. Today, I'm going to be cooking some lamb chops with a herb salad and the extra good thing, a filfachuma butter, which is a Libyan chili and pepper paste. Let's get started. So we're going to start by toasting the guajillo and chipotle chilies. If you don't have guajillo or chipotle, you can use things like urfa or Aleppo chilies, any kind of dry chilies. Um, each one will have its own nuance, its own character, and each one will add its own, um, have its own impression on the final dish. They're starting to be a little more pliable. You almost see them turn waxy, so we'll take them off. We're going to take the seeds out because they add a kind of unwelcome bitterness um, to them. If you try and take the seeds out of these chilies before you toast them, you'll find it a little bit challenging. So we're going to cover these in boiling water now. So we're going to leave these chilies to rehydrate for about 20 minutes. And then while they're doing that, we'll get on with the rest of the, of the dish. So our next step is we're going to toast our spices and start building up our, our pilpachuma butter. So we'll start with some caraway. Not too much. Um, about double that of cumin. And about double that of sesame seeds. And we're going to get a nice bit of toasting, a nice bit of tan on these. Um, just to, uh, to liven them up, to get the oils in there released and moving. Kind of want some more. So we're going to pour this mix into our pestle and mortar and begin grinding them um, and start releasing all those lovely oils from the seeds um, and start building up the flavours. We want a little bit of texture, so we're not going to completely obliterate everything. Um, at this point, we're going to add in our Aleppo chilies, which I find have a bit of heat, but are also pretty fruity. Um, and we'll add in some paprika. And we'll start working that together. So at this point, we're gonna add in some salt and some pepper. Great, so now we've got our spices and our nuts and seeds all together. We're gonna fetch our garlic, which smells absolutely delicious. Um, quite a popular way of cooking garlic at the moment. I just think it's so phenomenal. So we took three heads of garlic and we cut just the top fifth of them um, to reveal their cloves, sprinkled them in some salt and some olive oil, wrapped them in tin foil, we throw them in the oven at 170 for about 40 minutes until they go nice, golden, really gooey and delicious. And we use a knife. So these are the chipotles, which are smoked, which are jalapenos that have been dried and have a really smoky text, smoky flavour. And the guajillos, which have got a uh, sour red wine, roasted tomato type flavour. So we're just going to roughly chop everything together. If you see any seeds, try and get rid of them because they will be quite bitter. There you go. Marvellous. All of this nice juice, try and grab that. So you don't, I don't like to cook with the water from the chilies. I think it, that is really bitter. Um, so try and avoid that, but any of the juice that comes out. And now it's a case of just working everything together. So if you look at that, really lovely, already very buttery. Um, and now I'm going to add some butter and some oil. Um, uh, that looks about right. And all of the fat in here means it will keep for a long time in the fridge. Um, if you wanted to keep this vegan, you could leave out the butter and just use olive oil and you still have this lovely texture um, and this lovely richness. I kind of like the butter because, I don't know, I think that's how I was brought up or certainly how I've learned to cook. Um, but I think it does add a, especially with the lamb going on the yogurt, it makes for a really, really rich dish. So we've uh, made our pilpa tuna butter, but now we're going to marinate our lamb chops. Um, once they're marinated, they can be left for, well, we say leave them for half an hour at least, but you can leave them overnight and they're just going to take on more of that flavour. Um, I'll get my hands in there now. Um, so you just kind of want to rub it in, get it into all of the nice crevices and really allow the meat to take on that flavour of the spicy butter. Cool, so we've got our lamb marinating now. So we're just gonna make our yogurt that's gonna go on the base of the dish. So we've got some yogurt, we've got some tahini, we've got a lemon. 
Uh, and we're just gonna mix it together. So we've used a uh, high percentage fat yogurt. I like to use 10% Greek or Turkish yogurt that um, is just super creamy. And so we're gonna add some tahini to that. We're just gonna zest the lemon and keep that to one side. Um, and that's gonna go into our herb salad. Put some zest in there too. Most of the zest is gonna go in our herb salad for later. So we've got our tahini, our lemon zest. We'll add some lemon juice in there too. That'll do. So we want kind of a thick paste type thing that's gonna go on the bottom of the dish back in. So we've had our, our lamb marinating for about half an hour now. Um, so we're going to get a big skillet pan on a medium high heat. Um, if you haven't got a skillet, any kind of frying pan will work. I like these things to have a really nice heat distribution, which works perfectly for me. I like to place the chops in fat side down and that kind of rising heat will help cook the chops and also means you get a nice crispy layer where the fat once was. So we'll leave that here cooking for about 30 seconds and we'll turn the heat up to a high. So as the heat raises, you know, we'll render out that fat and when it's nice and hot, we'll remove the chops and give them a hard sear and that will get that nice crisp on the outside. So the pan looks nice and hot. Getting it, <coughs> oh, there we go. Fat's beginning to come out of those chops. So now I like to take it out Give the pan a second, just rub that fat around. So that fat's come off the chops, also come off the marinade. And so you can see it's nice and hot and we're gonna put them down for about three or four minutes. So we're gonna turn them a few times just to get that heat evenly distributing across them. Um, I'm happy with that. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to back You're in the really, pan? Well, you know the fire alarms are already kind of, <laughs> we're, we're almost there. And you, just, yeah, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to see this part. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your pan. That but that uh, smells so good. So you <laughs> marinated them in the Pilbot Chuma. That's correct, yeah. And then we've uh, given them a quick sear, letting them rest now. Um, they'll be delicious, I'm sure, I hope. I'm sure they're going to be delicious. <laughs> they better be. <laughs> gonna, I'm going to get some later. Okay, fantastic, I'll call you in. <laughs> <laughs> call me in. So we have our lamb chops resting. Um, we're gonna rest them for about four to five minutes. Really, really important to let your meat and your fish or even your hispy cabbage rest for a bit after you've cooked it and it kind of lets everything relax um, into it. So we're just gonna put a little bit of red wine vinegar on the chops as they, um, as they rest and that will help kind of encourage a sauce to appear at the bottom of the meat and also just helping a little acidity, a bit, a bit of lift to that very rich dish. Um, so as that rests, we're going to take our bowl of lemon zest that we got earlier and fill it with some herbs, some mint, some dill, and some parsley. And we're gonna really, really just roughly run our knives through it. So we've got a bit of texture in this salad, which I think is gonna be delicious. Um, we will add some grapes um, that will accompany the red wine vinegar and adding a bit of sweetness. Um, so we're just going to cut them in half or quarters or however much you would like to do them. We've got our grapes in with our herbs, and our lemon zest. Take a few small cucumbers. You can use Lebanese or Sicilian cucumbers or baby cucumbers. I think the smaller ones have got a lot more bite to them and freshness and a lot less water. Again, be really rough and rustic with this. I think a touch of sumac. Sumac? Yeah, a touch of sumac would be nice. So, we'll add a bit of lemon. Like that. And that looks good to go. I can just take a bit of salt. But that's gonna be a super fresh crunchy, sweet accompaniment to this lamb and filfa tuma. So we're ready to plate. So we're gonna put the yogurt on the plate. We're just gonna use your spoon to create a little home for the lamb to sit in, like that. And then we'll grab our lamb chops. Now, I like to leave them on the bone and let people kind of work out how best to tackle them on their own. 
I'm gonna get our herb salads on the sides. So just pile that on there, like that. God, that looks like a good plate of food, doesn't it? And then to finish off, we'll take our reserve bit and fill for tuna butter and we'll just drizzle it over the final dish. So that's our lamb chops with herb salads and a yogurt tahini and our extra good thing, a fill for tuna butter. Well, hey, Yatem, I made us some lunch. Whew. You're hungry? Yeah. So uh, that, you smoked my ho the whole kitchen, right? Yeah, intentionally, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh... Oh, this looks so good. Oh my God, no, I'm going to it. Mm. It's so good. It's like um, kind of the smoke and the heat come together mm -hmm. at the same time. All right, so what's the treat? I was... Uh... Delicious. Thank you. Thank you wow. very much. So I've got an extra good thing, which is Jake's uh, bell pepper He didn't leave me that much, I have to say, Jake. But I'm gonna start by uh, just frying some aromatics. So I've got hot oil, I'm gonna add uh, ginger, and <clears throat> some garlic, zest, grated. These are almost like, taking on color quite nicely. I'm gonna add a couple of sprigs of thyme here. And then I'm gonna remove all these. Saute some, saute some cabbage. So I've got some uh, Savoy cabbage here. Spring onion. So this is as far as I'm gonna take the cabbage. So it's got a little bit of color on it. It's, um, it's soft now, it's kind of softened. And I'm going to put it aside in this bowl. And I'm going to use uh, Jake's Pilpachuma to fry my rice. So it's got butter um, and it's got oil. And I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Now I'm going to add uh, some of this rice. For me, the rice is okay. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to one side. I'm gonna throw the egg on to here. Run my spoon through the egg just to break it. And I'm gonna add the uh, cabbage and spring onion. I've got this lemon, so that's the, that would be the final touch. I've got the lemon skin in the aromatics. Got the rice and the cabbage, it looks beautiful. Garlic and ginger. And that's the fried rice with Savoy cabbage and the extra good thing, Pilpul Chuma. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links to all the recipes are below. And please also add comments below to what you did with your extra good things. Squish all of that sexy, sexy goodness out. Is that, can I say that? I said it. <laughs>